Look at the area we live in. We've got the gorge. We've got the Mount Hood wilderness. Would you know what to do if you went for a simple day hike and were stranded in the wilderness? A lot of us go for hikes around here, and you've heard the dramatic rescue stories like camper Pam Salon. Remember her? She fell down a cliff in the Mount Hood National Forest. That was back in August. And then in June, two trail runners got lost in the gorge, and they were forced to spend the night out there, too. And in May, rescuers saved three sets of hurt, lost hikers in just one week. Only on 6 tonight, Coin Local 6 reporter Amy Frazier went deep into the gorge to learn and teach us some survival skills. Amy? Jeff, I went into the woods with members of Portland Mountain Rescue to show you what it takes to get out alive. Even if you're just out for a day hike, they say know the route, know the conditions, be prepared, and have a backup plan. Throwing in some supplies, as you hope won't be too heavy, you gear up and head out on a day hike in the Columbia River Gorge. As you hit the trail, you wish your friend hadn't canceled. Still, you're confident you'll be just fine hiking alone. Hiking alone. 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 Amy! A scenario. Check, check. We found the subject. That's about to take some unexpected twists and turns. In reality, though, I'm in very good hands today with two coaches from Portland Mountain Rescue to help make sure that your next hike is a safe one. We go through the campground and up this ridge. As rescuers, they know all too well a lot can happen in the wilderness. So it can be dangerous out here. It certainly can. Easy to slip on a rock, a wet root, moss. What do you think is one of the biggest mistakes just in general people make when they come out and, and they go hiking? Um, they don't plan ahead of time at home. Tell someone you trust about your hike. In fact, put it in writing so they won't wonder later on what you really said. What I'm taking, where I'm going, when I plan to be back, license number of my car. If you don't make it back, that person will quickly realize you need help. To be honest, most rescues we have to go on are people who intend it just a day hike or a trail run. And that's why you carry potentially life-saving supplies. <laughs> there are 10 hiking essentials you can easily Great find size. online, warm. including some important basics. What you need is, is something to keep warm, something to keep hydrated, and something to signal for help. If you try to prepare for it when the emergency happens, you're not going to have what you need. And that's when it becomes an actual life-threatening situation. In this scenario, it's starting to get late. You're afraid that you might not make it back to your car before dark. So you decide to go off trail to try and get there faster. That, though, is when some people get into trouble. If you leave the trail, especially if you're not familiar with navigation, it's real easy to get lost. And if you do get lost? You need to stop. You need to think. You need to observe your environment. What kind of hazards am I going to run into, you need to plan, then you need to act. Did you bring a whistle? I did bring a whistle. Something a nearby hiker might hear. Try to get three loud blasts right together. It's a uh, SOS signal. So just three short yep. blows. Even if you don't have a good cell signal, yeah. try sending a text Can't message every yeah. hour. It may eventually go through or at least ping a cell tower, possibly helping rescuers find you. Biggest danger overnight is, you know, getting cold and becoming really hypothermic. If you have a foam pad to put between you and the cold, wet ground, you'll be happy you have it. And what if you don't have a foam pad? What might be another option? Sit on your pack. This is a 55 gallon contractor's bag. It's something you can use in an emergency to help keep you warm and dry. So, what am I going to want to do with this? Uh, you can open it up. Okay. Pull it all the way up. Like Pull it up as high as you bag. can Yeah, high as you can go. There you go. And if it's raining, it's going to help keep you dry. You search for some dry brush and sticks to make an emergency fire. That's when you slip, hurting your leg, making any thoughts of hiking out on your own impossible. As night falls and the temperature drops, you're glad you brought waterproof matches and some fire starters. It's right there. Go ahead and just hit it right now. A big psychological boost if you can get a fire going. And what do you tell yourself psychologically? Well, you've done, if you've prepared and planned, then you know that people are know that you're missing and you're not home, and so they're going to call the authorities. On 
until rescuers can get to you. You need to stay warm, dry, hydrated, and alive. And now it's just a matter of waiting and getting through the night. And I have to tell you that getting into this bag here felt pretty strange, but it was actually fairly warm inside, and it's something easy to carry. It's pretty light for your backpack. Now, speaking of supplies, tonight I've posted the 10 hiking essentials for you at coinlocal6.com. Also, be there tomorrow night at 11 for the dramatic rescue. We'll take you behind the scenes and up this huge cliff with Portland Mountain Rescue yeah. to show you what it takes to find you in an emergency. Reporting for you live, Amy Frazier, Coin Local 6.